What are those? Olives, why you want I don't want any. Thank you. She starts spitting out olives in the middle of my showroom. I need some money. I have no way to get home. What about that? Are you not I, understanding? I don't care. You know what? Take your jackass out of here. No, I ain't going nowhere. Oh, you want to bet? Excuse me. Have a good day, sir. Um, hell no. Have no, a no. Have a good day, sir. No, no, this is ridiculous, man. Get the hell off me. This place. Man, and I ain't never come back to this promise. Store. This man comes to the shop to retrieve his daughter's item from the pawn, but there's an issue. He forgot to bring his pawn ticket. Unfortunately, without it, the shop is unable to assist him. You have the ticket? No, she called down here and said I could pick it up while I was down here. Yeah, unfortunately, without a ticket, I can't let you pick it up. What do you mean without a ticket? Sorry. No, no, I want the stuff. Yeah, but without the ticket, we can't give it to you. Well, I, hey, is there anybody I can talk to who owns the place or a manager or something? That's a tough break. How does this customer want the shop to verify what item he wants to get out of pawn? The store policy remains firm. No ticket, no retrieval. No ticky, no merchy. See, first of all, you're saying that it's your stuff. It's not it yours. It is my stuff if I come to get it. She says I can it pick isn't. it up. What if I'm not going to go all the way back to Mississippi, come back down here just for a ticket. Yeah. I'm here. I want the stuff now. And what's he going to do? Get I took deal. alligators bigger than I him. I ain't scared of yeah, him. Yeah, but he ain't no alligator. He's just a bad mother Within seconds, things escalate. The man, frustrated, gets physical with the security guard. Not the smartest move. Guess what the security guard does next? Hey, I ain't scared of him! Oh. Is he serious? Don't touch me. Don't. You do? You're gonna see the exit. I ain't scared of him! Come on, my man. Hey, man, you can't get... Hey, I want my stuff! Byron eats alligators for lunch. While they're alive. I want my stuff! You can't get it, brother. This guy obviously got off at the wrong exit. A pretty lady walks up to Seth with a watch she wants to sell. What's Seth's opinion on this watch? All right, trying to get this watch sold. So what can you do for me with this? What are you looking to do with it? Trying to get some money for shoe shopping and just some extra money. I need to get back home. All right. Is it even running? It was when I left home. It's nowhere near 7 o'clock right now. OK, but didn't you just turn it to 7 o'clock? No, I didn't just turn it to 7 o'clock. OK, well, what can you do? To be honest, mm -hmm. I'm really not interested in them. I'm keen to know. Seth notices some defects with this watch and unfortunately can't offer anything for it. This lady questions Seth's decision. No. Do you have gas? Ma'am. Uh-huh. I'm not interested in your watch. What I'm trying to tell you is I don't have any money to get back and forth home, so unless you're going to leave your job and take me home, then you need to do something with that. No. I'm not giving you anything. There's nothing what, you would do? What, what, what are those? Olives, why you want them? I don't want any. Thank you. Why? She needs to understand the reason why he's not buying her watch. Is that hard to understand? There's no reason to get all worked up. Seth is not putting up with this lousy customer and her nasty attitude. You so, care, you, you need better, to do you something better, about it. You better give a damn if I care, because if I don't care, I'm not giving you Listen anything. Listen here, you mother I said I need some money, because I need to go. I'm not interested. I think you are. I know I'm not. I think you are. Well, you thought wrong. Well, get it fixed, bitch, because it's real. Take it out of here right now. I wish you would with your yellow mother Nass, touch me. Get your banana shirt and have an ass off of me. Don't touch me. Here, this man walks up to Seth to get an item. He wants to get a generator for his shop. Let's see the options Seth shows him. I just lost power in my house last night. I'm looking for something like a generator like this. Okay. But I don't know how to use it or anything. Generators are simple to use, my man. It doesn't work, like run on electricity or nothing, though, does it? Because I don't have any in my house. You want to generate electricity, Yeah. right? That's what a generator does. So all you do, open up the gas can, right. pour in gas, Fire it up, plug in what you need. Okay. Okay. After seeing the one he wants to purchase, both men go ahead and negotiate on the price. However, the real surprise comes when the customer asks to take it home for a test run without paying. Why not do it in store? Well, could I take it to my house and see if it'll work? What? Like, go to my house. We don't allow you to try it out at home. I can fire it up so you can see it work. Could you fire it up at my house? Once you purchase it, you can actually take it to your house. This is ridiculous, out. dude. I mean, I'm overpaying for it. I only got five. You ain't gonna help me? So if you want to buy this, I'd be more than happy to sell it to you. You show me that it works at my house. That's much better. But this customer is being adamant. It's obvious he never had the intention to buy this generator, but to create a scene in the shop. How does Seth handle this? I want to borrow it at least. Well, borrow see it? What the f work? Give me seven hundred dollars. You can borrow it indefinitely. F you all right? You're a f jackass. You know what? Take your jackass out of here. No, I ain't going nowhere. Oh, you want to bet? Excuse me. Have a good day, sir. Um, hell no. Have no, no. Have a good day, sir. No, no. This f ridiculous, man. Get the hell off me. F this place, man. And I ain't never come back to this promise 
past store. Here, this customer comes to the shop to pawn her laptops. Ashley is curious about how much she wants from it. 500. How'd you come up with 500? Because this is a new gig, so I should get gig? Yes. This is a pad. I, I should barely get like 500 for it. This is an iPad? It's something like an iPad. I don't think so. I'm just curious. How? How would you use this as and an I iPad? Mean, it's something like an iPad. No, 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 no. no. Let's find out. Things take a turn when the customer accuses Ashley of not knowing how to do her job. She even demands someone else to evaluate her laptop. It gets wild when she starts demanding to see the manager. Second of all, you're not gonna talk- Where's the manager at? Where's the mother manager at in this building? Where's the manager? It's me. So if you, you want- the, who's, who's over you, ma'am? Me. It's somebody that's over you. Are you going to give me $500? No, not talking yes, to me are. like that. You're yes, not. you are. I want $500. Oh boy, Ashley is fed up and she insists that she leave the shop because she doesn't need someone up here dictating the rules for her. Let's see what happens next as the security comes in. You can leave. No, I'm not leaving. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Bitch, yeah, I'm not you f are you pulling me out of it. Don't push my hands on me. It's time to go. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. This bitch will be shut the f down. Now what? What? You don't know me. You don't mother f know me. Trisha attends to the customer who comes to make a complaint about a coat he got from the shop a week ago. He isn't interested in this item anymore, so he goes in to ask for a refund. Riding down the road and the thing just shreds up. Uh, I want my money back or... You bought it here? Go, yes. This coat looks a little beat up to me. Yeah, you're telling me. I'm not very happy. Do you have your receipt? No. Isn't this receipt enough? No, it's not. I need a receipt. You just seen me here last week. I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I want my money back or I want another coat. Can't help you unless you have a receipt. Oh boy! After being told he can't get a refund, he goes ransacking the shop for a new coat. Unbelievable. Stay glued to see what Trisha does next. How about I just take one? I'll just take one. Uh, what do we got? Byron? What do we you got? You want to assist this, sir? What do we got here? What's wrong? I'll take this whole damn wreck. Hold on, my man. Hold on. I'll take this whole wreck. What? This ain't, this ain't you, man. Calm down, man. Let's go. Calm down. Have a good day. Give me my coat. I can't have my coat back. Walk yourself out, bro. You gonna get my coat, bro? Get my damn coat, man. The thing's flopping in the Here, damn wind. You know what, sir? I'm you going can have phone. This man approaches Rich to make a complaint about an iPhone he got from the store, claiming it's malfunctioning. The worst mistake is coming down to request a refund without bringing a receipt for verification. I need a new phone, dog. Okay. You got your receipt? No, I ain't got it with me. I ain't bring it. First of all, we don't sell iPhones for 200 bucks. And second of all, I'm not giving them without a receipt. Just get me another phone. That's all I'm asking for. As soon as you give me that receipt, I can see what I can do for you. I don't have my receipt. I just clearly told you that, man. Clearly you told me that. That's wrong. This customer spots one of the staff that sold the phone to him. However, shockingly, this staff doesn't have any recollection of selling this item. Is this customer making up stories to trick them? Oh, clearly. Yeah, but we haven't had one of those out for sale since I've been here in six months. We I have mean, no I've just seen you in we two no weeks. Force. Yeah, I'm not the one being ridiculous here. Clearly, he can't come up with the receipt. And if he said clearly one more time, I was gonna clearly have to knock his freaking head off. You didn't buy that from us? Yes, I clearly did. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming on over here. You can go back to before. selling that computer. Crazy. The situation gets tense as the man starts yelling, demanding to see the manager. Well, it is about to get heated up, but thankfully, Joe, the security guard, comes to the rescue. And he's telling you to either give me a receipt or get the hell out of here. Y'all got all these phones right here. What about that one right there? Did that one work? Pull the things up over your ears a little because you Did clearly can't hear me. There, it's off. Do this there. phone work? It's a simple question. Does this phone work? You know what? Joel, can you go show him how it works? Uh, take a picture out in the parking lot. Don't touch my phone, show, dog. Show him how the phone works outside. Why are you touching me? Okay, just don't touch me again. This lady meets Ashley and Trisha in the store with the intent to buy a watch. They both go in to show her a variety of options. And metal bands. Let me see this right here. This will be good. Okay. This one. This is really pretty. Okay. It's really pretty. It's really Looks pretty. Looks good on you. That one's 100. 100. I'll take it. Okay. Now we add tax on that. It's going to be 106. All right. Here. No. What is this? Okay, but an issue pops up when it's time for this customer to pay up. Who comes to the pawn shop with a VIP card to pay? Seriously. The customer begins yelling and causing a scene when they refuse to accept her card. Things spiral quickly, and she goes ballistic. Here's that! Here, 
a woman comes to the store with no other thing to do than to pawn her grandma's jewelry. So if they were Swarovski, because that's what it is, right? If they were what? Swarovski. Oh, they're Swarovski. I don't know what that, what that brand is. So if they were, they won't be sending anything fake. I'm not interested in your crystals. No, I'm not going anywhere until you give me some money for my crystals. Do you not understand English? Do you not understand English? I understand English. Do you not English. understand the word Swarovski crystals? No, I don't. I just... Hear what Seth has to say. She loses it when told the earrings are fake. Seth wasn't going to offer any money to her. She goes nuts and goes off to show Seth her breast. That's so silly. She storms out of the shop in anger. I'm just a victim here. And all this ugly phone popping into my face, man. Just my spots into my eyes. So how would you like to pawn them? You're going to give me something before I... <laughs> if, you, if you're making me choose, I'll take the ring. You know what? Yeah. All this yeah. fake ass. Right. You don't it's know all, no crystals when you fake. see a mother... In this scene, this customer comes into the shop in excitement. I guess she's thinking she's going to make a good deal with this volleyball she intends to sell. Stay hooked to see what Les has to say. Well, I was gonna get some new equipment. I mean, my average 168, but it's slowly declining. Why? Because he's wrong. He's a marshal. And this is my thing. And I'm gonna come through, and when I let that bitch go, I boom. Mm -hmm. I was actually interested in these bowling balls until she almost broke my counter. She'll be lucky now if I give her five bucks for them. 150 and I'll be out. Roger that. All right, Les demands a receipt showing the amount she got the ball because he's not going to stand and hear she got it for such an amount. He's in disbelief. How does she try to convince him? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. I just need $150. That's it. Nothing. You can't do nothing. Nothing. Give me $150 for my balls, though, if I can get the hell out. Damn, I ain't... Dog, I ain't, I ain't giving even, you nothing for your balls. 150 You got it. Why don't you stop talking so much? Take your balls and leave. Hmm. She flips up when Les tells her that he's not going to pay such an amount. Les wants her out of his shop because of the nuisance she's trying to create. Watch as the event unfolds. I ain't going nowhere. Well, you want me to throw these motherfuckers right out the front if door? If you throw them bitches out the door, you're going to follow right behind. Now, how about that? How about that? How about that? I say A customer approached Ashley because she wanted to sell her jewelry. Nothing prepares her for what happens next. Fire? Yeah, I need to get this off. You know what? That's all right. I got it. So I was wondering if I could pawn it. I was trying to get like $100. Okay, so that is stainless steel. No, actually, it's real silver. I'm trying to get $100 for this. I mean, you're going to give it to me or what? Or can I talk to somebody else? No, you can talk to me. That's really gross. After being told the item wasn't authentic, she starts insulting Ashley, being so disrespectful and loud. Ashley wouldn't tolerate that from a customer. Watch how the security is handling this customer. Now you're making an ugly face. It ain't it ain't Halloween no more. Oh, okay. Here you go. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna hold that for sanitary reasons, so I can put it in a okay, napkin. Okay, but my mouth is clean, my hands is clean. You act like I got that Ebola that's going around. It's not called Ebola. Okay, whatever it's called. It's called Ebola. Ebola, Ebola, I don't care. Can you please take this and give me my $100 so I can get out this stuff? Another customer meets Rich. He wants to sell some microphones. Rich is curious about where this customer got them. What a story he tells Rich. These things out into the crowd and you just happen to catch one. So at what point did they actually take this off of the, the rack and put it nicely inside of this thing? No, I got Zip them. it up and then threw it out there. When did that happen? It just got out in the crowd and I picked them up. Really? really? Hold on, keep an eye on him. But Rich is not buying his story. Sensing something suspicious, Rich quickly goes in to make a call because he thinks that the item might be stolen. Watch what happens next. Exactly, I've got them. You're gonna need to come down here. All right, thanks. Ash, call the cops. Hi, um, this is American Jewelry and we have stolen merchandise. Thank you, you're on the way. The plot thickens. How much were you looking for? 100 bucks a piece if possible. How about 75 a piece? That works. I'm eager to find out. Rich decided to play along with this customer by holding a conversation with him in order to distract him from what was going on. He needs to keep him talking until the cops come in. Unfortunately, this customer is clueless about what was going on. The atmosphere becomes tense. Who the f are these kids now? Are these his friends? You know what? We could have a problem on our hands. Make sure security's at the front door. Good, what's up? Good. Hey, Mike, what's going on? I'm so glad the club manager's finally here so we can figure out what's going on. Oh boy, the club manager is here and confirms that the microphone was from his club. Stay glued because you won't believe what happens next. For the police to come. Okay. Uh, they're leaving. No, I man, you leave. can't leave. The cops told us to hold you here. Cops are coming. Well, they can wait. Well, I think. Why do we gotta stay? We all gotta stay. Why? Wow. I'm not the person that came You're up. You're all involved in the group. That's the way it works. Until we know what's going on, that's the way it's gonna be. So if you want us to have a seat, Tolikovsky here. Yeah, I need some help. I'm you got it. This strange looking guy enters the pawn shop, immediately drawing everyone's attention. 
Les is curious to know what his problem is. I'm Richard the zombie. What do you do for a living? I'm a, I'm a zombie and an actor. What is a zombie actor? A uh, person that plays a zombie in movies and, ha uh, and uh, haunted houses. Boom! Wow, here yeah, you did it. I'm a zombie. I'm, I... Oh, you had no emotion. <sighs> I would be too. This customer goes on to show Les what he wants to sell. He needs this money. Watch what Les has to say. Look realistic? Your makeup helps. So, how'd you get the uh, metal detector? I've had it for a couple years. Did you find anything with it? A couple quarters. <laughs> so how much you want for the metal detector? 150. How did you come up with that number? That's what it's going to cost for, to get the makeup and costumes I need. All right, Les is skeptical about taking this item. Let's see if they strike a deal or not. People buy these things used for $10 or $15. I don't even know if it works. Would you take $6? That's fine. Perfect. We got a deal. Thank you, Mr. Zombie. Bobby J, do me a favor. Take this zombie over there and give him six bucks for a metal detector. <laughs> got an idea, right? <laughs> This lady approaches one of the staff demanding money because she read on the signboard that a customer can get free cash. The staff goes in to explain what the contents of the signboard actually say. 30 days you can get interest-free loan. You only pay a dollar for storage. But it's saying if I brought a friend with me that I can get 30 days of free cash. It's for an interest-free loan. But that's not what the y'all sign is saying. You're just misreading it. No, it's you're different. misreading it. That's not what the f y'all sign is saying. Okay, this customer obviously misread what was written there. She doesn't want to listen to what the staff is saying, as she's only after getting some free cash. Seth had to step in at this moment. Who told you to get it next? You did, by I'm screaming. I'm not talking to you. I need my cash. I need my cash. It says it right here. Free cash. Interest free if I bring cash. My friend, I brought my friend with me. If you get a loan and you refer a friend, you can get 30 days. Interest free. Yikes. Another customer started yelling at her because she was wasting so much time. I mean, other customers needed to be attended to. In the blink of an eye, things get physical. Watch and see what happens. This man meets Les at the shop. He wants to get some household items for his new house. What does Les have in store to show him? Like, I'll bet you can make a deal with this one over I'll here. I'll bet I could. Yeah, see, this is more of my price range. I'm good with it. You know what I'm saying? You gonna clean all that up before I buy it? That's why it's so inexpensive, right? Really? Yeah. I gotta tell you, man, that is nasty. Let's find out. After seeing what he wanted, he goes on to question Les why the couch is so dirty. What does he expect from a used item? This customer begins to get on Les's nerves, and he breaks the last straw when he goes on to insult Ashley. This is not something Les tolerates. Watch Les's next move. Then don't buy it. Make me a deal. I got cash in my pocket, man. Wow, Come on, man. bucks. Come on. What kind of operation you guys going on, man? I bet you you're the mother been sitting on here farting. We had a reupholster and I gave it to Ashley. Nana approaches Ashley with the intent to sell her earrings. She claims that she had called the shop to know how much she could get these earrings for. Now, Nana is at the pawn shop to sell them. Ashley is curious to know which one of the staff she called about the earrings. Nicole? Nicole. Over the phone. Yes, ma'am. But we don't see them over the phone. She is lying. While I'm at work and while you're sitting in your living room, you need to come in, you need to evaluate your earrings, you need to test them. Nikki, Nicole. Well, which is it, Nicole or Nikki? It's real diamonds. All I know is I need my 400. All right. However, Ashley still needs to check them out. Ashley goes in to tell her how much she's willing to offer for the diamonds. But this customer is not happy with this, because the staff she called earlier told her she could get it at a higher price. She's angry that she's being offered lower. I can do 185. So what you're saying is you're not gonna give me that $400, right? No, I'm not. I mean, you're not gonna come in here demanding money from me. Yes, the f I am, because that's what I called for. Hey, you can see the one time. Did I hope for me to go to the end Oh boy, she goes on to create a scene by screaming and yelling on top of her voice. She demands to see the staff that she called. Ashley had to get the security before things got out of control. He, she claims she talked to you at 10 o'clock this morning. I called you and they told me that they were going to give me $400. Oh, so look at And now they because... telling me that I can't get my mother money and I need this now. Don't you know that? I need my mother money right now. I don't know what this chick was talking about. She was very confused, but I know one thing for certain. This customer stops by the shop to sell a jacket. She claims she got the wrong size, and so she intends to sell it. 
Let's see what these guys at the shop can do for her. Wait, if you go to put it on, it's a little snug here. Do you lift weights much? Once a day. Okay, but you would believe this scene that happens next. This woman goes off to show off her strength by using one of the staff. Take a look. Could you do me a favor? Yeah. Could you kick his ass? You want me to? I can I pick him up. I'll throw my a child now? Let's see. Come right over Why here. Am I always involved in this? There was no question how strong this young lady was. I tried to make it a funny little situation. How do you want me to pick you I up? I don't know what you're I doing. Said... What a comic relief. But let's get back to business. Let's see how much she's going to get for her jacket. Stay tuned. Would you do 50? I would. How about 35? Yeah. I'll go 15 and then it'll be 15. You want to do 15? Go ahead. Okay. Fine. Squeeze his hand. Thank you. Listen, if we make five bucks, that's going to be a lot. So she got the money, we got the jacket, and we had a little fun. Thank you. Good Take luck. care. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Two guys walk up to the counter in the pawn shop, item in hand. Les then checks out the item they want to sell. Let's see how that goes, shall we? I'll bet you can make a deal with this one over I'll here. I'll bet I could. Yeah, see, this is more of my price range. I'm good with it. You know what I'm saying? You gonna clean all that up before I buy it? That's why it's so inexpensive, right? Really? Yeah. I gotta tell you, man. Cool. They both get angry with Les's appraisal of the earrings. They go on to offer another item to be checked out. Hopefully, that might be worth something. This is not the way we operate in New Jersey. What kind of operation you guys going on, man? I bet you you're the mother who's been sitting on here farting this was actually my couch. We had a reupholster and I gave it to Ashley. Is that right? Yeah. Is that your daughter? That's my daughter. She must be nasty too. But unfortunately, no. They both get pissed up and intend to create a scene, but this security steps in at the right time. Man, yeah. I'm going someplace That's else, That's the taste man. of Detroit, I man. got $200. Yes, sir. I'm going someplace else. That's the dirty D right yeah. there, baby. Where'd he go? I think he went back to New Jersey, sir. I would like to get a loan on this, please. OK, how much would you like? $100. OK. I can do the $100. OK. I'll check it for you. Can I have your ID? Sure. This man comes in with a scary looking item. But the craziest part is that it looks dangerous as well. What does Ashley think of this item? You could literally kill somebody. Uh, yes. Yes. So, <laughs> why do you have this? Last year after Halloween, guy was getting rid of his Halloween display. I made him an offer and I bought the whole thing. My wife says I need to get it out of the house. Woo! OK. It's quite heavy. Grab it. All right, you know what? I'm going to hold it. How do you feel holding that? I feel like a badass. Yeah. Hmm. Ashley goes on to hold and test this. She tries to be extremely careful because the item looks really scary. Anyway, let's see how much this customer wants to sell it for. Why? Listen, I, I think it's worth $250. 50 bucks. 50? Is 250 it? That's it? How about 200? How about 60? 60 is very fair. How about 150? Come on. I'm not going above 65. That's fair. Fair? Come on. You know I can't take it home. Okay, they start bargaining, and this turns out to be one long negotiation. Let's see how it turns out in the end. Since you can't take it home. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Give me 75. Come on. I can't. Make me feel like I did something. Come on, 70. No. You did something. You're getting it out of your house. Yeah. Guys, you're tough. All right. 65. New beginning. All right. All right. Let's go up front. Over here. Careful not to trip, Baby Two women approach Ashley and Trisha to sell an item. What do these women have to say about this? I have an extensive collection of Beanie Babies that nobody knows about. Really? Um, I have quite a few too, actually. And it's missing something. Yes, it is missing something. You tag protectors. Exactly, yes, the tag protector. Oh. Hmm. Unfortunately, the women notice that the item has a missing piece. Trisha and Ashley start to bicker about this. No, but here, wait, wait, maybe they did have the tag protectors You don't take them off. The... I'm really glad I was able to give you knowledge about something. Okay, let me continue. <laughs> so, um, so you came here to sell it. Right. Mm -hmm. How much did you want? Around seven or eight thousand dollars. Um, I found one specifically online that was like for 6500 and it was in way worse condition than what I had. Moving on, Ashley checks out this item meticulously to verify some things. She asks the customer how much she wants for the item. Let's find out if they close a deal or not. So, how much would you want? Maybe like 4500 $4,500? These Beanie Babies aren't even worth $5 a piece. This man comes to the shop looking for an item to buy. Let's see if Ashley can assist him in getting what he wants. I'm looking for a power steamer. Power steamer. No, I don't have a power steamer. So, power washer. Power washer. It's going to be right here. How many RPM? It's a GPM. Can you get a guy to help me? No. Where's your worker? I, I'm a worker. I can help you. You don't know about two. A guy knows exactly what he's talking about. Okay, okay? I'm a girl and it's 27. Okay, well, you don't know nothing. Okay, you're just a female. All right. 
it gets annoying when this man demands that another person attend to him because he feels Ashley knows nothing about electronics. Hilarious. I'm certain Ashley isn't just going to stand there and have this customer insult her. Let's watch her next move. Over here. Okay, well, what you standing here for? I'm over here with her. She gonna help me. No, she can't help me. I need a guy to help me. Oh, trust me, she can help you. No, she can't help me. Okay, she's a stupid female. How is that? Because she don't know what I want. She can't be too stupid. She on the store. It's time to go, bud. I'm gonna show you what a real man does. I'll show him what a real man does. 